Welcome to the second tutorial of Pixel Composer. In this tutorial, we will go through an image array to use in batch editing and the batch export. So let's begin. One of the most powerful features of Pixel Composer is the ability to modify a group of images at the same time, or we call it image array. And to do that, we can just start by selecting multiple images in Explorer and then dragging in. Here, it will have this dialog where you can select to import it as a multiple node. Each of the nodes have different image in it, like this. Or you can import it as an image array, if you have only have one node. But if you double click on it, you will see that this node contains multiple images. Another thing you can see here is that the junction are few, the inside of the junction are few, as opposed to a single image where the junction are well, darker color. This means that this junction contains multiple images and it can be added all at the same time. Now, when you add in some node, like for example, the transform node, you will see this icon. This icon means that this node supports multiple input. Like for example, if you drag in this node into this transform, the input and output will automatically change into the array junction. And if you double click on it, you will also see the same group of image here. And when you edit this image, it will also edit all of the image in the array at the same time. So you can do animation as usual, the same way you do. And then all of this image will be animated. And since the version 1.0.5, I have updated a lot of the filter and generate node to support image array. Most other node group in the default collection also support image array, like in this example. If we choose the RGB scale collection, to show you that the effect should also apply to each of the image in the array properly. Another type of batch operation is when you have a single image, but then you want to apply multiple operations at once. Like for example, you want to export this image in a different, different resolution. Now we can use this scale node, which also has the same icon. So if you make it visible here, we can put in some array which can be done using array node. Here, we can add in number. And to add number, you can also press 1 on your keyboard. And let's say that you want to upscale your image 2 times, 4 times, and 8 times with normal size. So we can type in the number that we want. Then we can drag it into the array node. And we will create an array that contains 2, 4, and 8. If we drag this into the scale, you can see that the output is now an array. And when you click into it, you will see on the detail here that we have uh, two time scale, four time scale, and then eight time scale. Now we will go through how we export this image array. One of the way you can export it, if you only want to export this image at a set of a still image, you can right click on it and then see save or current preview as, and then you can give it the part that you want to save to and click save. Now you will see that it will just add 0, 1, and 2 for each of the Im image in the array. And if you click into it, it's just going to be an image with a different size. However, if you want to export image array as a multiple animated GIF, then we need to use an export node. And just like in previous tutorial, we just set the format to be an animated GIF here. Another thing we that we can do is we can use the original part and then modify the original part into the new one. If you want to, for example, save an image area using the same name, but in different directory. And to do that, we go to the part and we make it visible. Because when you import an image or even an image array, you will have this part junction. You can drag this part into this export part. Now it will match each of these image in the array with the part array. And to modify that, we will go to the template section. Here we have some guide here where the percent D is a directory. You can go up one level. You can modify file name. You can also add in a frame if you export image at an image sequence. And you call you have an array index. What we want here if we want to save the new image using the same name, but in the folder called animated. So what we have to do now is to go to the template properties and then add the folder animated between the directory and the current name. Also, this directory will already contain the last slash, so you don't need to add slash here. 
you can just type the name of the folder right away and then select and then the original name and then you can click execute node now when you go to do that directory you will see that it is filled with original name in this case it's just a number the original name is a number so we have an original name and if you click on each of them it is an animated gif of a different image and that's it for this tutorial in the next one we will go through a group a different types of group and how can you create your own collection thanks for watching